hi this video for explaining tree types so the tree is having set of nodes and edges all the nodes are connected with each other by using the edges the tree is having different types one is general tree here every node may have infinite number of children for example if i have the root a the root a will have any number of children or uh, three children or uh, four children or n number of children so here this may have single child right b or uh, c d and here we can have e and this one may have uh, again four children f g h i right so you see here the a is having three children and b is having one child and uh, one child and c is having four children d is not having any child okay so here any node which may have infinite number of children so that no that kind of tree is called general tree and next one is binary tree in binary tree each node will have at most two children then node a should have at most only the two children okay b and c so here it may have one child right one child or zero so here it may have one child so only at most two children can be allocated for each parent it should not have three child okay any parent should not have more than two children that is the thing at most it should have only two children so that kind of tree is called binary tree and another one is binary search tree in binary search tree when we are arranging the uh, uh, nodes in the tree so here suppose my node is at 10 then left child should have always less than the root node root node value is 10 root node value is 10 always left child value should be less than the 10 for example 7 right node uh, child should have greater than the root value greater than the root value for example 12 so the left child should have less than the root value right child should have the greater than the root value so this kind of data structure tree is called binary search tree and another one tree is uh, balanced trees in balanced tree one of the type is avl tree so here dynamically it is balancing the uh, height of the tree so here it will use the balancing factor uh, that is allocated for each node based on whether the tree is balanced or not and another one balancing tree is red block tree here the auto balancing uh, is done uh, to adjust the height of tree adjust the height of the tree and nary tree in the sense any node will have uh, at most n number of children n number of children so each node will have n number of children for, for example if n equal to 3 uh, each node may have uh, at most three number of children if n equal to three then each node at most may have uh, three number of ch children three number of children so this kind of node is called nary tree and uh, here the general tree is represented with uh, in the form of um, data structure how it is represented here each node is having uh, three fields each node is having three fields uh, minimum three fields minimum three fields one is the data field and another one is this one is the left child field left child field this one is right child field right child field so here uh, the element in element or data element or data then one more field which is having uh, denoting the parent one more field which is using to denote the parent parent node denote the parent node and sequence of children node so based on this tree is constructed here the uh, root is b root is 
B. For the B, we are having no children A, D, F. So here A and F are leaf nodes. Then for B, we are having two more children. One is C and another one is E. So this can be represented in the form of a data structure, right? So each node is constructed with different fields. So the first one is node B. So node B is having uh, data field, okay? So data field, one is data field, another one is uh, denote the parent field and the sequence of children, sequence of children. So the node is established here with three fields. So one is the data field. This is a data field and parent. The root node, root node is not having the parent. So which is null, which is null. Then the sequence of children. So the B is having three children. B is having three children. A, D, F. A, D, F. So for that, the sequence of children node which is creating three children nodes so this is first child second child third child so first child is the a second child is d third child is f so the first child is denoting the node a node a again the node a is created with three fields one is data field or element field and another one is parent so this is the data field and parent field so parent is denoting the right so this pointer is denoting the parent so parent is b okay so this is denoting the parent field this is denoting the a and the a is not having the child so this is made as a null made as a null then second uh, second child is d so d is denoted here then again D is having two children. D is having two children. So the ch child child pointer child pointer is having the two children. So the two children are the left child and right child. Left child and right child. So left child is C. So C is denoting the D is, is denoting the uh, uh, left child is denoting the child C and uh, right pointer is denoting the right child E, right child E, right. So now the parent field in the D is denoting the parent B, parent B. So this is the parent B. So now the C is the child. So C is not having any child. Okay, so which is having the data C data field then a parent is d so this is the parent d so which is denoting then uh, which is not having the child so child field is denoting with null child field is denoting with null like that right child okay right child is e data field is e then a uh, parent is d so parent is d this line this line is indicating the parent d then uh, it is not having the child. E is not having the child. So child field is denoted with null. Then F is another child of B. Okay, another child of B. So we are taking the F. The F is denoted with third child. Now the, the F is having three fields. One is the data field F and the second one is parent field. So parent is here denoting the B. Okay denoting the line which is B. Then the child field which is not having the child. F is not having the child. So that is made as a null. So in the background, the tree is represented in this format. So the hierarchical format is used to denote all the data uh, stored in the memory locations. Thanks for watching.